I am not an artist. I'm a programmer. But people don't really get attached to programs and algorithms. Okay, some people do, but most people don't get attached to programs and algorithms. They get attached to characters, places, scenery, architecture, stories, music, etc. They get attached to art. I don't know how to make art, but I want to learn. For the past little while, I've been developing a first-person sword combat game, and I've been trying to rework my character controller to work better over the network, and I'm currently stalled on that. So while we wait, why don't we address what is arguably the biggest pain point of this entire project? The art. I'm Frank, I'm a game developer, and I'm not an artist. I'm a programmer. This project thus far has been devoid of art. Games need good art to sell to potential players that this game is worth playing. Art is what grabs people. Games don't need to be realistic, but they need to look good. So far, in my game, there's a couple of containers and barrels in the training ground, there's some nice skyboxes, and some models I threw together just to get something in there. But none of this is coherent. There's no defined style. Seriously, the players are just capsules that look like Among Us characters. I need to start making art, and I'm gonna need a lot of it. I'm not an artist, I'm becoming one. I wanna make art, but I don't really know how. This is the first video in a series of making game art as a non-artist, or at least someone who doesn't quite identify with that term just yet. This all started because I looked up how to make programmer art because I've heard the term thrown around a lot. I found this Reddit post, which linked to this wonderful article on gamesfromscratch.com detailing how to make art as programmers. There's a link in the description if you wanna check it out. I'm gonna try some of these resources and use some of their techniques, as well as try some techniques that I have found. That way we can see what works for you and we can see what works for me, so I can start making some art. So far, I've decided to make episodes on voxels, procedural generation, stylizing assets, asset flips, low poly art, programmer art, and games with no art. If any of that interests you, get subscribed. I'm sure there's gonna be more episodes along the way. Those are just what I have ideas for right now. With each video, I'm gonna make a little scene or game or demo of each of these techniques. I haven't quite decided where I'm gonna put those, but they're gonna be available in the descriptions of their respective videos. Some things in this series are gonna be shortcuts, which might be hacky, but they will prevent us from having to learn extensive modeling or texturing. They're just gonna be things that'll get us going quickly. Last note on the series as a whole, I'm effectively broke. I don't want to spend money to make the game. I just want to make the game. Because of this, I want to set a precedent. I am not going to sell you anything. If a technique requires a tool, I'm only going to suggest free ones. You shouldn't need to break the bank to make good art, and oftentimes embracing those constraints will help you make better art. I am not an artist, but I will be. Now the phrase is kind of bullshit. I'd argue that just by wanting to be an artist, you are one. I'm not an artist, but I will be is kind of a paradox, but whatever. An example. So I play guitar. Am I not a guitarist until I can flawlessly play Eruption or Sweet Child of Mine or some other specific song? I can always learn another song, technique, theory, etc. But there's, there's no point where you know everything. So I don't really want to lock in this idea that I need to know what I'm doing in order to do it. There's no threshold in which I am a guitarist in the same way that there is no threshold in which you become an artist. You learn how to do something by just doing it. I probably won't be the best at any of this, but I just want to rid one person of the idea that they have to figure it out first. Like, being embarrassed is the cost of entry. Make bad shit. Who cares? You need to make bad shit in order to learn how to make not bad shit. And you're never going to learn how to make good shit. It's fine. I am not an artist, and this is a series on how to make art. As a programmer, <laughs> we are not going to be using a lick of AI. I think AI is a very good tool. But in its current form, all art generated by it has been developed on the backs of who knows how many people who unknowingly had AI models trained on their art, their photos, their words, their everything. Stealing makes you a good programmer, but it does not make you a good artist. Inspiration though? Besides, most, if not all of the AI art I have seen thus far has just been kind of cringe. And the people who post AI art of themselves are kind of just people I stopped following on Instagram. So I don't really want to touch AI right now. All right, this is going to be fun. I'll see you all in the next video, but if you can't wait that long, here's a video on my game if you just want to check it out. Peace.